Hey, people, what's up? More Lords of Shadow. Penultimate stage of Chapter 8 coming your way. What's up, Arzidix? I don't feel like doing this commentary. I'm just gonna flop off this ledge and take a nap. <laughs> In your static sprite animation, yeah. Yeah, there, there's a spider over here. The I guess I'll stomp on its face and a few times. To turn, but, <laughs> but come on, man. This is, this is a pure boss fight video. <laughs> the the, the excitement. The there, there, there hasn't been a grudge match around, like this since, you know, Holyfield Tyson. Tyson. He's suddenly he in the heart of evil? Of the he destroyed in the well, his name is Ulrich. Yeah, I mean, the rest the of the castle doesn't count, dude. Greatest champions. Yes, Bronner, yeah! The Remember these the characters from much. better Castlevania games? And his yeah, let's Dorn see. Bronner was from Fortune of Ruin. Ulrochs, you may know from uh, Symphony of the Night. Mm -hmm. the He's a pretty cool boss. He They're brothers in this game. <laughs> the lands ever since. Looking at the blast sentence! <laughs> Just wait, we, we have to be quiet for the, will the delivery of this. Without any mercy. Ulrochs, meet Gabriel Belmont and his vampire killer. <laughs> he, can, he hams it up so much. That yeah, was pretty hammy, Patrick Stewart. I'm not sure if I'm buying it. <laughs> Meet Gabriel Belmont and his vampire killer. <laughs> Jesus. Um, oh shit. Oh yeah, it's it's old rocks. He's got gray hair you instead of uh, pass uh, through black. Here. You you two should be facing each other if you you're trying to hold a conversation. What the fuck is happening? But it's more dramatic this way. Is it? What? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of this edgy bullshit. I'm just gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> Olrox doesn't fuck around. What the fuck is this? He's got that crazy teleportation thing going on. Um, he looks just like Bronner, except he's older. He's 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 Commander Olrox and not Lieutenant, so he's uh -huh. a higher rank. Uh, in the Vampire Legion, I guess, or whatever. This guy's moving so fast! I can barely keep up with it! Ah. That's the thing about Olrox, okay? He's got only a few moves, right? Most of them you can block for uh, a, a sync block, right? And you get a shitload of your meter filled up for every sync block. At least half, right? Yeah. Um, but he moves so fast that he teleports, so you have to be very careful and uh, learn his call signs. But other than that, it's a fairly easy fight, and like I said, he has pretty obviously, pretty obvious tells for when he's going to attack you. Mm. It seems a lot better now that he's not doing that teleport spam nonsense. Yeah, that kind of gets in the way because every time he teleports, he leaves like this black cloud where he mm -hmm. was, and if you're not careful, it will cover your sprite and you can't see shit. So that's his worst, worst move there. I think the thing that's throwing me off is that most of the combat isn't this fast-paced. Like, enemies usually don't move nearly this quickly. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a fun fight. I mean, don't get me wrong. The combat, was it actually works well going this fast. Mm -hmm. When you know what the fuck you're doing, or at least semi. Like, you have to get used to it. That's why I was so thrown off. It's just like... Okay, I can barely keep up the camera. Please stop. Yeah, but I mean, it, it works good, and it's really fucking fun once you get the hang of it. And he doesn't have a lot of health. We've almost got him down all the way. But uh, he has a rather annoying gimmick that we haven't seen yet, and it I, drags his fight out. It's, this video's ten minutes or so. Yeah, we're, we're only three minutes, fifty seconds in, and it's at least an eight-minute boss fight. What the oh, man. Uh... There you go. He's got, um... <laughs> He has various, like, greater lichens in these coffins around the room. Okay. The gimmick of the fight! <clears throat> when you get him down to, like, very, very low health, he'll initiate a, a cutscene where he'll go and feed on the, on the lichen. You have to beat his ass off of the lichen and then destroy the lichen body. Uh, okay. So he can't feed on it anymore, right? Alright. The problem with this is that every time he feeds on it, he recovers a fairly decent amount of health. And there's four of these fucking things, right? So you... <laughs> you, ha you have to do this shit a lot, and you have to beat his ass into the fucking ground over and over and over again. And of course, if you're too slow or you're using the wrong attacks, he'll just heal more. Yeah, and also as well, if I'm not mistaken, if you take too long on the, uh, when you're when you're trying to destroy the lichen body, mm -hmm. 
the coffin will actually shut on it, and you'll have to wait for it to uh, to open up again. That's great. And the thing that makes it bad too is that if you go straight away and attack it, you're, you'll be fine. But if you wait around, all rocks will eventually pop back up, and he'll start beating your ass while you're trying to to kill the lichen. Yeah, I was gonna say I actually like this boss fight. No, no, not so much. It's a fun fight until you. The game starts making a gimmick out of it, and then it just takes all the fun right out of it. It, it didn't need a gimmick, though. Just have a fast-paced fight. <laughs> maybe give him a little more health so you can't beat his ass in two minutes. Yeah, That's yeah, it. like maybe have him have a different phase when he hits half health or something. Yeah, but... Or even this gimmick is fine. Once. Not four fucking times. <laughs> yeah, I just... And even that wouldn't be bad, but it's four forced times, too, so I mean, yeah. Those are Iron Maidens, by the way. Those have a bunch of spikes in them. Yeah. What the fuck was he doing stockpiling the lichens? Were they alive? I, I don't think their blood is really all that good for you anymore. I don't know, man. Lord of Shadow's breaking all the rules. Maybe because he's a demon vampire, he can feast on the dead. I don't know. Excuse me? Yeah. The, Olrox and Bronner, if you didn't know, were uh, demons that she turned into a vampire. That's why they look so different. And they I don't have a human. I forgot form. about that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Because you see, human vampires be drinking crazy. dead blood fucked Tom Cruise up. All right. <laughs> Orox, he could just drink that shit by the gallon. It's cool. So that's, yeah, he's fine. He's got perks. Uh, also, he keeps spouting some nonsense off about not letting you reach his lady and shit. So. I'm sorry. I. I... I received a bit of whip, uh, whiplash from that particular experience just now. Sometimes the camera can kind of get a little wonky. It focuses on him, and it will uh, rapidly whip around if he teleports behind you. This really does go on for a while, doesn't it? It does. I, I don't know what else to say. I've been trying to drag out the, the commentary here, but there's... Dude, I got nothing. We still got one more fucking phase of this shit left to do, too, so it's just like, yeah. <laughs> it's literally just the same thing over and over. He basically has, like, three or four health bars. That's the thing, yeah, it never changes, too. Also, in that coffin, there's a, uh, a brotherhood soldier. And did you just beat the hell out of him, or was it a lichen? I couldn't tell. It was a lichen, but there was a brotherhood soldier behind the lichen, so I don't know what the fuck... <laughs> I don't know what was going on in there. This is like Old Rock's BDSM dungeon or some shit, but he's Old Rock's in the dungeon master. Oh, he, he's certainly the dungeon master. I feel like I'm being tortured. <laughs> Basically, Old Rock's is Zed, okay? <laughs> and the Brotherhood guy in there is Ving Rain's character from Pulp Fiction. That's what's going on here. Uh-huh. I agree. I agree with that reference. And Gabriel is Bruce Willis. Bam! We're gonna free him! Yeah! <laughs> it goes... It has come full circle. We go up to the Dark Lord and they ask what happened to Olrox. Olrox is dead, baby. Olrox is dead. <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? I'm sorry. Oh, this whole thing's not great. There's nothing... I, I have nothing. I'm sorry. The beauty of it is at least we've almost got him now. We can't, He can't heal anymore. So, that, that's a perk. Oh, the music picked up. It's like, this is, again, like Metal Gear Rising. Well, yeah, I say he can't heal. Yes, he can. You notice that center, like, uh, emblem on the ground. He was actually gaining health back from that because there's blood in there. Are you... So you have to quick time him really quick, and then he'll bleed on the thing. I can't drink my own blood. <laughs> because he obviously, I guess, that killed but, him too, but, so... But, but... <laughs> All right, see you later. We did. I, we didn't even have to use the vampire killer on him, so I don't know what the fuck the deal was there. But okay. also this... that that it's a puzzle. <laughs> 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 we could steer the blood with the left stick. I know you've always wanted to do that. Oh yeah. Just, just think, uh, boys and girls. Now you don't have to become a mortician. It's like irritating stick on the PlayStation One. <laughs> Basically, this is the process of embalming old rocks, so this is how it works. What is that? Oh, it's a timer. Great. Yeah, the little lights going around the outside in the circle are the timer. They count down. It's like seconds or something. Mm. And you have to maneuver the blood from each little circle in this puzzle to the next one, ultimately to the very top. 
Okay. Does it turn on its own, or do you have to control make it turn as well? Oh no, man, you have to steer. And if you don't do it in time, then, oops, well, you fucked up and you have to start over. Yeah. This, this is probably my least favorite chapter so far. This is a pretty shitty gimmick, actually, yeah. Like, you, it's a bad gimmick, a bad boss fight, and a not great puzzle. You you get this bitchin' theme, though, Belmont's theme to play during the puzzle. So, that's that's something. <laughs> it's, not, it's not Gabriel's theme. Gabriel does not deserve this theme. Oh, it's Gabriel's theme, all right, yeah. No, he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> well, he's got it. I hate you, Gabriel <laughs> Belmont. <laughs> Why do you hate Gabriel? He's having so much fun here. Wouldn't you be having a blast with this too? Look. I would cut myself and bleed directly over the top myself and just solve this in a matter of moments. <laughs> it does kind of say a lot about Gabriel though, doesn't it? You know, he stabs the shit out of, uh, out of some poor girl. He, 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 he rips off his friend's hand and uses it. And now he's playing in a dead vampire's blood. That Gabriel, what the fuck is wrong with you, Gabriel? There's so many things wrong with him. <laughs> he is a sick motherfucker. I'm just gonna cast Firestorm a few times, don't mind me. Dude, gotta totally show it off, yo. Like where you could actually see it now. <laughs> would that actually hurt the boss? Uh, it would, but it wouldn't stun him, so he'd just, like, knock you out of it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so, good. It's, it's a great attack. Yeah. Now let's go back to the Abyss again. Oh, yeah, well. Uh, new combos unlocked. Commander Olrox, we defeated him. <laughs> this is garbage, dude. <laughs> Come on! It had. Like, I'm actually legitimately upset. It had high hopes at the beginning. Oh, there we go. Throne room. Throne room. Final stage, baby. Do you go up a staircase like? When we you do. Go it, fight it, Dracula? It's it's all la all la old school Castlevania. I was man. about to say because it has a kind of similar uh, similar layout. It does. Too. We 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 climb the stairs and everything, but uh. We'll have to wait for next time to see that shit, man. Great. It's a, it's a video unto itself. I'm excited. The Dark Lord of the Vampires. Oh, and get ready, uh, everybody. You're going to be introduced to a character that was voted GameFAQ's hottest <laughs> video game character ever. You should link that thread. Well, well that's for Lords of Shadow 2, technically, but I'll, I'll go and link it anyway. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's the same universe. He's going to care. Then you too could see the thread that brought about the hottest video game character ever. The Dark Lord of the Vampires, baby. She's a she's a sultry bloodsucker from beyond. Uh, are you trying to make her sound what what are you going for here? <laughs> I don't know. It's like what is GameFAX going for there though, so GameFAX she's... is going for being perverted gamers, yeah. Well, that fits the bill pretty well, then. Yeah. And it's a boss for that, too, which you'll see. She's... <laughs> it, it, I, I, I can't even speak about it anymore. We'll, we'll see you next time I, for that. I, I'm pretty sure this episode killed our will to live for a while. Oh, I got one more bit of good news. Oh, before, oh. Before I close out the video. Please share. Once we get done with this chapter, we can finally watch the trailer without seeing spoilers. Oh, man! <laughs> they only had to play through about 75% of the game. <laughs> oh, that's great. So we'll do that after chapter uh, after the end of the chapter, too. So you've got that to look forward to. Oh, yeah. I, I may have a better idea as to what's going on. <laughs> no, but oh. you can hope. Anyway, more pulse-pounding Lords of Shadow Gabriel vampire-slaying action uh, next time, guys. Catch you later. Bye.